It was arguably her quick wit that set the tone when microphones in the briefing room failed to launch. That technology was against women. <laughs> she quickly delved into her focus areas, the relationship that education, reproductive health and access to financing has in addressing poverty that leads to women's emancipation. We see the work of uh, UN women not just a service to women, but a service to humanity. She called the vast underfunding of UN women, with a revenue stream of just $220 million in 2012, the elephant in the room. The executive director called for a stronger role for women in peacekeeping and governance to tackle conflicts that inevitably affect women and children the most. It is essential that we actually have a gender-aware approach in the manner in which conflicts are managed, in the manner in which uh, governments intervene. Mlambo Nuka's role in the immediate term is to build capacity with this three-year-old agency by shoring up its resource base. Because given the depth and breadth of UN women's work in gender empowerment and equality globally, relevance and impact will only be achieved when financing is predictable. So governments best be warned to expect a call about their funding contributions soon. Sherwin Bryceby's SABC News, New York.